Hello, this is Ambient Flush, and today how to create a simple 3D logo in Photoshop CS6. This also works in other versions, but you need to have this 3D in your Photoshop. So let's make a new document. And here you can set the image size and the resolution, and then click OK. I'll be using the text tool. I'm going to write a simple D using the arcade font. Use the guides to make the center point. And now I'm gonna move the D in the middle of this image by free transform tool. And next I will add a little slice into the D using the marquee tool. I will select the area and press delete. But first you need to rasterize type and press delete. Next I'm going to add a Battlefield 1 style background into this D. So I will select the area and copy it in top of the D. And I will select here create clipping mask. And I will resize it change the place. Next I'm gonna add a Battlefield 1 character in top of this wallpaper. So I'll just also copy it here. It is top of this wallpaper and I will add here create clipping mask. And same for this. I will resize it and replace it. Then you go here, right click, blending options, stroke, I'll be using the black color and size 8 pixels. Position outside, blend mode normal and click OK. I will select these three layers here. I will also duplicate these layers just in case and I will hide these previous ones. And for these click and merge layers. Now it's only in a one layer. And the next, you're gonna go for the 3D selection in the layer. A new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And there you go. The Photoshop automatically makes this kind of 3D effect. And here opens the 3D menu where you can set up these settings. the shape presets. You can select here some kind of shapes. I'm not going to tell you all of the settings. You can just go and play out all these settings. You can select the depth. I want a little bit to select the size. Here on the coordinates, I will a little bit turn the logo to the right. And now it's pretty much done. So here you can see there is some spots which are not perfect, and I will edit this. But first, right click on the layer and click the render. Now this is gonna be a little speed up. How I a little bit fixed all these errors. There is some color, wrong colors. And the final touch, you can add some background behind this logo. And the logo is pretty much done. This was Ambient Flash, see you guys in the next one.